Okay. Um, you know, obviously very disappointed in this uh, defeat. Uh, you want to start by uh, recognizing and congratulating Iowa. Uh, they played a very good game. Uh, both of us were uh, down some players and a bit shorthanded, and uh, they did what they had to do to win the football game. Uh, starting with the, you know, right at the onset, I think just uh, getting us in uh, bad field position. They played very good defense. We know that going into it, that uh, they're a very good defensive team. Um, they played better than us uh, in special teams in certain areas early and put us put us behind the eight ball. Uh, defensively, I thought we played really good for the majority of the game, but by being backed up early, it helped them, uh, you know, have a short drive and set up their one offensive touchdown. And uh, really, um, you know, we were playing a bit of catch up uh, from that point on. Uh, very proud of these guys. Uh, very proud of, of Destin and Trevin. Uh, we, as I told the players in there, we have a great group in there. We were we were a bit short-handed today, but but it is what it is. So were they. Uh, we were we came in here to compete to win. But I also wanted to uh, let Destin play. I wanted to see uh, the future and uh, what it looks like, and, and give an opportunity to just go out there and, and play ball and play it with the you know the confines of our offense and our system and, and down coordinator and you know he was put in a tough situation so he will learn from it without a doubt um, and uh, we look forward to that and his growth um, you know defensively Trevin and the defensive guys I thought played pretty pretty darn solid all day played really hard um, Iowa was creative early uh, trying to get their playmakers their tight ends the ball with some Deception screens, if you will, and, and did a nice job of getting in the ball. And they make some people miss. They're very good players, and um, you know, very close game to that point. And uh, you know, once you know, the the third one, you know, I put on me. I won't put that on Destin. I probably should have ran the ball there and, and got out of the half. And uh, in you know that one, once we got that, it kind of put us in a really bad spot. So, um, but that's confidence I have in him and us and our future. Uh, things are going to be fine. Um, we have a very good football team that, that wants to come back hungry. Um, you know, obviously there was just uh, something a bit off this year from time to time. And I just told the players this and I'll tell you that's on me. Uh, I have to get that fixed to get back to being who we are. I think Iowa won today by being Iowa and, and credit them. I say that with a compliment. And uh, we got to get back to being us and uh, doing some things better. And uh, I have a lot of work to do, but I'm really excited about it because I feel like there's a great nucleus of young players. There's a really good set of guys with experience coming back. And, and as I just talked about Trevin and some guys right in the middle that have some experience now that are ready to explode and be really big, big time players. So I feel like we have a lot of good pieces in place and uh, we just got to get back to work. Coach, you said you wanted to see Dustin play. What did you see? I saw a, a young man with, that has a bright future. and. Uh, you know, Destin was put in a tough situation today. So there'll be a lot of armchair quarterbacks that sit back and uh, wanna, wanna critique this guy. But I tell you right now, let him go back there and play against that defense and see how easy that is. It's a, it's a, it's a tough road to hope. So uh, believe me, we know that going into it, it's a tough spot, but, but he manned up and did some good things. We needed to play very well around them. We talked about it all week that uh, you know, it's not just on the quarterback or any one player. We need to do some good things around them. And I think in there are certain areas where we fell short. And uh, it's not a time to point fingers. Uh, we all accept it. And, uh, but we know we're, we're going to grow from this, and I know he will grow from this. D yes. Dustin, what kind of defied your expectations? I know it's one thing to be on the practice field, but what was it like once the game started? How did you feel kind of getting in there? Um, I felt confident. Uh, just my coaches putting me through uh, my uh, just like practice basically, and I felt confident going in there. Um, but it's, uh, it's football, and things can go uh, wrong or good. It's just, just how it is. Justin, it felt like you were pretty calm early. How just were the nerves in your hometown yeah. playing a top ten defense your very first game? How was all of that for you? Uh, my nerves were. I mean, it just felt like I was playing at home basically. So not really much nerves. I mean, just that first snap and that first hit. Um, yeah, I, think, I just feel, for me, I just feel ready to go after that. Um, I know it's different without Chris, Mark, but uh, most first-time starters, he, he attempted 30 passes. Was that part of the game plan to kind of 
uh, let him let it rip? It was. We, we felt like we had to spread it out a bit. You know, Iowa, if you watch them, and we weren't quite the same team we were a year ago. They are still very physical, very tough up front, you know, so getting in big sets and playing smash mouth with them, I think was going to be a tough, tough spot. Um, you know, certainly there's things we, we, you know, could do a lot better and put him in a better position to be successful and so on. Um, and so, you know, we'll look at all areas, but yeah, we did feel like we had to spread him out a bit and use his legs, use some quarterback run game, which gave us some, uh, you know, some good plays and we actually had a, Dustin, what I'm did not going to say it. I'm not going to tell them. Then they're going to make a story out of it. But, you know, just read the, read a, a script wrong. You know what I mean? We signaled it wrong. You know what I mean? So little things like that. But what else do you were to say, yeah, John? Mark, in me. a game like this, field position was always going to be key. The special teams, the punting part of it. How much of hiring Coach Bowlware is, is designed to address that part of this moving yeah. forward? A hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. You know, we have to <coughs> turn the table there. And, uh, you know, there were games this year where we we won the hidden yards in the core four, but not enough. And there were certainly games that impacted it in a negative way. And I have to, I had to address it, and I did. Mark, when you say at times things seemed a little off, I think a lot of people sort of had that feeling. What, what was it? What do you think it was? What, what do you want to address? Well, I think there's a lot. I already addressed certain things. I think you can see I got two new coordinators right. coming in. That's right. two thirds of it right there. I mean, uh, you want me to just hit the reset button and blow up the whole thing? No. Playing pretty good defense. So, no, I'm teasing. But, you know, uh, there were just things. I, I have to own my part. That's what I just told the team in there. And, like, uh, there are. The environment of college football, I don't have all those answers. I can't go on that dissertation right now. You know, it is what it is. We are gonna manage it the best way we can. We feel like we have a strong culture. Did I, you know, there, there were pieces that needed to be better. It's that simple, right? I mean, I have to address them and I have to make them better. It's not pointing any fingers. It's not, you know, it is what it is. If you wanna throw darts at, you know, somebody's throw them at me, I, I, I can take them. Uh, putting that weight back on so I can take a few more darts. I don't know, but, uh, you know, I just, there, there, there are things that we need to readdress. And, uh, you know, with bringing in, um, you know, the coordinator that I believe I'm gonna get on the offensive side of the ball will help. It'll help uh, kick, you know, re hit the reset button. Coach, you've mentioned a couple of times, Destin being your quarterback of the future, is that, no matter what happens in the transfer portal, <coughs> the quarterback going into spring. You know, Destin knows, just like Trevin knows, that they're going to go out there and compete every day. Nothing's given. Everything's going to be earned, and uh, they have an opportunity to do that every day. Coach, what can you say about the performance of Iowa? I mean, your team got shut off for the first time since October 19, 2019. Yeah. It's been a 42 game. It's rough. You know, they, they uh, we knew they were very good going into it, and, uh, and our defense, Trevor, and them, they gave up seven. You know, so, uh, you know, a very good defensive game. There's going to be people out there knocking that, but there's a lot of people that still love and appreciate defense, right? So I think it was a, a good game in that way. And, I, I, you know, while somebody asked Trevin a question, I think they played pretty good. What was working well for y'all, Trevin, defensively? Dude. What was working well for y'all defensively, especially on those those fourth down stops? Uh, what was working well was, was like everybody was coming together. Even though we was down, like no matter what happened, we still had our heads up. Because you know most teams when they go down, they like start backing up, but we still had our foot in the pedal. Even though like we like then um, like the outcome, the energy was still up. So that's what, what was working for us. Trevin, just what was the locker room like this month when you had guys opt out, injuries, transfer board? You knew you were shorthanded, but you still brought that energy. Oh, the locker room was still the same. Like nothing had changed. You know, oh. we knew we had people opt out or hit the portal, but we was like. No matter what happened, though, we still got each other backs. You know, we brothers, so, you know, we're going to keep, you know, grinding with each other no matter what the outcome is. Trevor, you played a lot of football this year. How do you feel like you personally grew? I feel like I grew a lot from my first year to this year, you know. You know, you still have room to grow no matter who you are. You still have room to grow. So I feel like I grew a lot, but, you know, it's still room for growth. Destin, when did you know you were going to start today? Um, I knew just during the week, just taking one the one reps, uh, just getting used to that. That's when I knew I had a good feeling and some of the uh, coordinators were telling me. Yeah, really before we left, he was taking most of the one reps before we left. And uh, so I think he had a pretty good feeling at that time. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, you seem to keep you back from pretty much all day long deep in territory. Kind of hard 
contract that takes A&M and M out instead of Faith. I'm sorry, Lonnie. I mean that again. Yeah, yeah. It did back us up. They, you're right. Uh, that's, um, you know, it, we, we lost, you know, on that. There's no question. They had some really good punts, uh, covered it well. And then uh, the, the one punt return that we gave up hurt us because uh, they got it out to around the 40 yard line and, and continued to play the field position game. And, uh, you know, we've done that before, played very good defense, played with great field position. They started that way. They Rocky. deferred. They Rocky. deferred, and they uh, won that situation early. Put us in a hole. Sorry. A lot of hit in the yard. Yeah, there is a lot of hit in the yards, and put us in a bad spot. Yeah. Destin, it felt like there was a, those deep balls to bury on that they were always just a little off. What? How, well, how come you all could not connect today? Um, <clears throat> I think it's just just more more work probably just has to be done. Reps, just getting used to the feeling like I haven't. Throwing with him uh, in, a, um, in a like a serious ball game, so just give him adjusted that speed and reps pretty much. Mark, the running game struggled a little bit. That those first four games we'll see you out not playing against today. What do you need to see out of your running backs? Uh, well, we, you know, in general, I think it's one of the areas that we have to address that I mentioned where we maybe touch off from where we've been. We're just not as physical as we have been. We haven't been as effective in the run game. And we got to look at all that. What it, What is it? Is it personnel? Is it schemes? Is it too much, too little? You know, you know, we'll look at all that. Mark, so we had all three of the quarterbacks listed as or on the depth chart heading in this. What was it that separated us to get him to start? Um, I, I think just a belief. I think everybody had a, a strong belief in him and, um, you know, his, his ability to, to make plays. And, you know, he, and this was just his first game. And, you know, you could imagine more games under his belt, how comfortable he'll be out there just moving around in that pocket. You know, knowing when to step up, knowing when to escape, when to throw the ball away. Um, it's hard. Uh, it's a tough position to play. And you're going to get better with every rep, with every opportunity. That's part of the difficulty with young quarterbacks and quarterbacks in general. And that's why you, you see it all the time. I mean, they, they need the reps, but they all do. You know what I mean? So if you have three good quarterbacks, they, they can't get enough reps in practice, especially at a full tilt, you know, in a scrimmage-like situation. Because I'm always yelling you know, at these guys to stay off them because I don't want them to break, you know, break their hand or step on their foot or do something, you know. So it's really tough until you get in there and do that. And, uh, you know, we really wanted to see him go do that. And he really did some good things. Yeah, there's a couple plays, a couple of those picks, we, you know, <coughs> he and I would probably rather have over. But he's going to learn from that. And again, it was a really difficult situation to go into, no matter who was playing quarterback today. Uh, you know, even with Will, with all those, you know, the reps and the experience that he has, um, we know it would be tough with that defense. Coach, did it frustrate you at all that in the winding seconds, I don't have thrown the ball? No, I just I chuckled. I don't know. I, I was ready to get the hell out of there myself. <laughs> <laughs> but that's to their credit. But on the other hand, you know, probably hand it off, but I'd still be ready to get the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's been, it was pretty crazy a season for the linebacker with those injuries. But it seemed like, you know, you and Gary got a lot of opportunities. What do you feel like that position group has going for itself moving forward? It wasn't a lot of experience, but a lot of talent there too. I can, I can say that we is losing a lot of experience, but you know, being young and playing even more, you know, the experience is like really not gonna go nowhere, but it, it is gonna feel great, you know, cause we bringing a freshman, we bringing two freshmen in, so I feel like the experience is gonna be real great, you know. It's gonna probably start off slow, but we are gonna get there. And I, you know, wanna piggyback that. I think it excites me. You know, I have such respect for the guys we're losing. I absolutely love them. You know that I've always talked. Uh, you know, so highly of those guys, and, and I love them. I'll be there for them the rest of their life. But it excites me when I see young guys that come up because as I'm telling them all, I'm trying to recruit somebody to take their job. You know what I mean? We want good, strong, talented players like this to keep on coming up through our program. So uh, it excites me when these guys get the opportunity to move forward. Dustin, how many people do you have that stands? Um, a good amount. Um, friends, family, teachers, coaches. Everybody in your hometown? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Testin, what did you do well that you liked, or, and what were some of the things you'd like to improve on? Um, some things that I felt like I did well was escape the pocket, um, try to find a play downfield. Um, felt like I did a good job executing in and out of the huddle, uh, making sure my guys are lined up, and 
just reading the coverages and seeing if it's like man or zone, man and zone. So, um, some things I, I would like to work on, um, making better decisions, the better accuracy and placement, just overall leading the team. And that's what does Iowa's defense do that makes it so difficult? Um, they're just one of those tough defenses that, like, they're the true to their defense from their base downs, and they have good uh, secondary and uh, that linebacker, um, Jack Campbell, and uh, just their pressures too. They did hard. Just how hard was it not maybe be nervous or, or feel a lot of pressure on yourself, knowing that you're basically playing so close to home? Um, for like, like I said earlier, for me, like I didn't really have any nerves. Just felt like home, basically, because I've been in that stadium before. And, um, I just felt cool and calm and collected. Mark, I'm curious how how you kind of compartmentalize. Obviously, January first earlier this year, you win the Citrus Bowl, turn the page to this season, in the year 2023, the loss, you know, and moving into the next season. How do you process that and kind of? Set 2022 aside and, and look ahead to 2023. Yeah, it's it's um, it's exciting. You kind of got through uh, the the very difficult parts. I mean, we all have, right? I mean, I think you know everybody has uh, their issues. I would think you know at times, and you know things are tough. But uh, you know, I think um, that part of it really excites me. You know, because we have to go to work. And we have a lot of work to do, but we have a good group of guys. We have good coaches. I get great support to, to have uh, the ability to make changes when I have to, even if, if, you know, if I feel like I've made a mistake or for whatever reason it's not working. I have that ability and the autonomy to, to make the changes that I feel that need to be made. I feel like we're addressing them and it, it excites me to get back to work. Um, you know, if you can't handle those things, you're in the wrong business because this, this is uh, challenging to say the least. Have you seen a tight end play quarterback before in a college game? Yeah, I probably have. I think uh, I think I have with the Wildcat package. I think that um, back in the day, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Sooners when Bob was there maybe had a package like that. We all run a Wildcat in certain forms or fashion. It depends on what type of person. My man, we we're going to give you the rock too. We we're trying to get him a carry today, but we didn't get that done. So we. Couldn't get couldn't get it moving, but uh, yeah, we had him on offense at one point too. Coach, could you speak to the unavailability or the reason that Keaton wasn't in today? Pardon me, Keaton Wade not playing yeah. today? Uh, probably because they only played thirty-one snaps. <clears throat> That's pretty low. Is that right? Is that right? It sounds right. Yeah, eight three now. You go eight, three and ounce, it's hard to rotate, guys. We've got time for one more question. Mark, there was probably a time when bowl games were different. You probably wouldn't put a freshman in a bowl game in that situation. I don't know, but how much different is it coaching up the bowl games, not just for you, but for everybody, given the way college football is now? Your team changes drastically from the end of the season to this game. Very different. You know, very, very different. Um, I don't know what else to say. You know, we compete to win the game. We came up short. None of us are happy with that. You know, these guys work and prepare to win. But uh, is this exactly a great situation to throw him into? You know, and, and you know, here, here's a bowl game against the top 10 defense. And because of the way this is, I don't know if that's right either, but I don't have all the answers. You know, uh, I know we tried our best. I know we compete to win no matter what the stakes are, and, and uh, we lost today, and I give Iowa credit for that. Especially with the younger guys, they're going to be able to build on it and then capitalize on it during the season. It's, I know it's got a it's kind of stink to, to end the, the season with the loss, but uh, you all did play about as good a defense as you can. How did you think just the team overall, your, your group played today? I feel like we, we, played, we played good. You know, we could have been better, you know, get some turnovers to help our young quarterback out. But at the end of the day, you know, all you can do is just say just thank you for all the guys, you know, just leaving it all out there despite what the scoreboard says. And you got a nice little pop down there too uh, yeah. on that one play. How does it feel when you, you're making plays like that in an NFL stadium? Uh, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, you know. 
hopefully in the, in the future, I'll be making them for good. But you know, it's a blessing to be out there. But just making plays in general, uh, like I said earlier, I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to play again this season. So it's just a blessing. Just how do you surmise your two years spent in Lexington, Kentucky? Uh, I, it's, it's, it's one of the best decisions I ever made, you know, enter the portal, you know, it's a scary place. You don't know we're going to end up, but I just left it up to God and I had faith on him and he put me, he put me where he wanted me to be and I can't, I don't have no regrets. What do these next few months look like for you? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm about to go talk it over with my family. I'm about to see what we're about to do. So we'll see. How would you reflect on the season just overall for you guys as a team? <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's, it was like a learning season. It was a learning season. I feel like we're going to build on it next year and uh, just capitalize, look back at what the mistakes we made, you know, in some of the games where we lost, and even the, the games that we won and see how we could be better. Mark said in the press conference that it just felt like something was off at times this season and it just didn't go the way you guys wanted to. Do you kind of feel that way? Was there just something off? Or what was it with this team? Uh, being on the sidelines, because uh, I was hurt the majority of the season, I could definitely, you know, sense like that, you know, some of the energy wasn't there. Um, which is hard for me, because I'm going to use a guy that brings the energy on the field. And being on the sideline, you know, basically not worthless, but, you know, he can't help the guys on the field. So uh, I feel like, like I said, it's just something that we're going to build on and we can't make the mistake next year. The linebacker room was a crazy year for you guys too with those injuries, but it gave an opportunity for guys like Trevin and Derek to step up. How, how comfortable are you kind of leaving that position group in hands? Uh, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable because I told them, you know, at the end of the game, uh, just go to work. Go to work, keep your head down, and put, don't even – Compete with yourself. Don't even look outside. Just compete with yourself every day and see how good you can be. So how physical was that defense? I mean, they looked pretty tough. Yeah, Iowa had a really good team. Um, you know, we just didn't come out uh, ready to play. You know, we made a, few, a lot of mistakes at the beginning of the game that hurt us. But um, Iowa had a really – we give credit to Iowa. They had a really good team. What was the chemistry like with Destin? Uh, the chemistry was really good with Destin, you know. Um, Destin went out and played as hard as he could. Destin's a really good football player. I can't wait to see what he has in the future coming up. How tough is it what he was asked to do to go out there as a true freshman who never played against that defense? Um, you know, it was really hard for Destin. I, I feel for him, you know. But he played, you know, Destin played really tough. Um, I can't wait to see. I, like I said, I just can't wait to see what Destin has in the future, you know, coming off. He's going to have this game in his mind uh, through the whole offseason. And, you know, I'd be scared to play against Destin Wade in the future. You know, that's really hard um, trying to go 99 yards, especially with a defense like you know, playing against a defense like that. Um, you know, we tried our best, but, you know, we did not play as as we should have tonight. How would you reflect different? on this season as a whole season? Say it again. How would you reflect on this season? What do you want to um, You know, this season wasn't what we wanted. You know, um, we had big hopes coming into the season. Um, you know, we didn't play how we wanted to this whole season. But next year, I really feel really confident of, you know, I'll be back. Um, Brown will be back. Um, I don't know about Tavion. He hasn't said anything. But, you know, we're just going to come back super strong. You know, the running back room, they're going to be really strong next year. Tight ends, the O-line. We just can't, I just can't wait to play with this team. Again.